Hey man, what's going on? So today, we're gonna be talking about, you know, how I can't afford my scat bag. So let's first get started with like the little journey that we come with, cause you know, everyone's gonna have a little journey with their car. So, how I got my scat bag. So guys, basically, my first car was a Dodge Charger GT. Um, it was a smoke show, it was beautiful. I love that car, there's absolutely nothing wrong with that car, right? But, you know, it was an amazing car. Drove nice, you know, looked amazing. It had a black top package. It just looked so nice. But then a few months later, I was like, man, like, I really want a scat pack, like something faster, right? So, you know, that just made me get to thinking about everything, like all the options. <laughs> so I started thinking. And I'm like, you know, what? I'm gonna get a scat pack. You know, one thing my mom always told me, she said, you, we can't have no V8s. We can't, you know, we can't have you doing that because you're young, you're going to do something stupid and that blah, 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 right? So then after a while, I was like, okay, like, I'm going to do this. I went out with my dad, found a scat pack, found one, found the one I like, fully loaded everything. I'll have a picture of the sticker in a second or at the end of the video, whenever. Um... So yeah, so we loaded that scat pack up, got it, took it home, boom. It wasn't that easy though. So my parents, yeah, they're with me cause I'm not 18. But the thing is guys, like I pay for, I pay the insurance, I pay the gas, I pay everything for that car, right? I am not spoon fed. Yeah, I got co-signed just so I could have their credit so I could get a low interest rate so the payments wouldn't be you know a thousand a month I want to be one of those guys paying a thousand a month for a scat pack because that's stupid so I did get co-signed but I am fully paying the car by myself every month insurance payment gas everything and we'll get into those prices later so um so I explained to my parents that you know I can handle that because you know I live at home I don't have any bills that's my only bill is my car and I'm perfectly willing to pay that every month we're about to go look inside of it and we're about to go do everything but i'm gonna keep explaining to you guys the process of how i found this car right so i decided you know i was like, I was like it's time like it's time to get a scat pack you know no hate to the rt guys no hate at all but i wasn't really wanting an rt that's the thing um because the gt had 305 horsepower i think the rt only had like 350 or like 380 so that's not really a big jump honestly for the price difference and then you're getting about the same mileage same everything so i was like you know what i'm getting a scat pack guys like it's time like it's really time to just go up in a level and just boom do it right because you only live once right? i'm gonna have fun in my life i'm gonna have whatever car i want i'm gonna make sure i can afford it i'm gonna make sure my money's good i'm gonna make sure all that right so we did that so i was looking i was really really looking for about a month or two um it took me about six months to get my money right to have a car in the first place um because i do have a job i do work five days a week and i do go to school so that's a big help uh helpful factor to, for my parents right working so much just so i could you know have the money to afford it blah 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 as you all know i do live in california so everything is more expensive out here unfortunately it's retarded but we did look in we found one very very close to us so i was like okay like i took my dad i was like dad we're gonna go check this car out like he didn't know what kind of car it was he didn't know nothing i just told him i said get in the car we're gonna drive here i drove him to the dealership and then we found the car and guys it looks so good when we got there it was so clean you know it's got the sunroof the black alcantara seats hardman cardman the plus package got the big brembo's on the front tires 275 tires you know it looked amazing guys it just looks so good we took it for a test drive. Guys, it drove amazing compared to the GT. It just felt lower to the ground. It felt heavier, felt more stable. It just drove better. It was amazing, guys. Seriously, like the best thing like ever that, that's ever happened to me is that car. It's amazing. I love it so much. So then I got back from the test drive and then we were like, okay. We started talking to the guys for a couple hours. And here's the thing, guys, when you go to the dealership, you really need to have a game plan. You need to do your research. You need to know what you're going in there for. And you need to know everything because they're just gonna smoke you if you don't know what you're talking about, if you don't know the prices, if you don't know this, this, and that. Um, 
the four square rule that they always try to tell you is a bogus rule guys that is the easiest way they can get you locked into a high payment so you know what you're going there for and know how much you're going to pay know you have good credit know your down payment know this this and that because everything is going to help you so much if you just know what you're talking about and all the research you did so we went in there like you guys should do we set a time limit we said okay we'll be here for two hours if we're not where we want to be in two hours we're going to leave and we're going to come back or have them call us when we're walking out because at the end of the day they need to make a sale that they don't want to hold on to a car so guys after the two hours we weren't where we wanted to be so we left we got out of there you know i was honestly thinking about moving on just keeping the gt for a few years you know blah 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 another couple weeks go by and we're like okay we drive by the dealership just coming home from going out to eat and i was like man that car is still there because this lot had a ton of scat packs guys like new used hellcats you know wrangler 392s they had a jailbreak on the showroom floor like this place was loaded it has so many cars so i was like okay like this is a spot for real so then i'm like okay bet like we're gonna go here again we know we have our game plan we're gonna trade in a car this time to do that so we did um so here's how we handled this guys we went there traded the car in got the car got to talking about numbers no i do not pay a thousand dollars for a scat pack like everyone else on youtube seems to pay um that's ridiculous don't ever do that don't ever go over 800 dollars for a scat pack but we all know today you know slim body scat packs are selling for 60 70 60 almost seventy thousand dollars right and that's ridiculous guys like that's a scam right there was a hellcat that sold in my dealership just a normal hellcat charger white body 2021 for hundred and eleven thousand dollars guys that's a seventy thousand dollar msrp car don't fall for these dealer scams racer x does have a gofundme or not a gofundme like a petition thing uh, going on to stop dealers gouging people do sign that i already signed it i'll link it in the description right there but honestly my guys knockout 360 and mighty stunner they really helped me out with uh you know getting my research done learning about the car a lot just to you know go in there with the plan and come out happy so that's what we did went to the dealership you know everything was good started talking started running the credit good credit good down payment you know um what else can you want so we're gonna go over the payment right now so the base price of the car was thirty nine thousand. I have a picture right here so the base price of the car was thirty nine thousand but we fully 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 optioned it out like fully so then the total price was fifty three thousand. So the total price was $53,155, right? Um, we talked them down to about 51. Yeah, it's not that good, but they weren't really leaning that much. And we were trying everything, everything. We did every research, we spit game on them, everything. They just weren't budging. So cool by them, right? Um, this car is fully loaded. We'll go over the specs in a minute. Um, my final payment for the car is about, oh uh, man. I think my final payment was seven thirteen. Um, it's all right. The interest rate was okay. We got an okay interest rate. It was three point two. It's not amazing, but it's not horrible like a twelve or something. I heard of a guy got a twelve percent interest rate on the scat pack. Guys, don't ever do that. Um. So yeah. So paid about seven hundred a month insurance. Two ten. Um. Uh, so I got that. You know the gas of course all mine i'm super happy though that this is my car i would never you know complain because this car brought me so much joy so much happiness just everything like it's truly like the best one of the best things that ever happened to me right see i even got a little sign of my room right there a little scat pack so we're gonna go in my car right now we're gonna go over everything guys so we pulled up back in the garage you know we got the scat pack right here um uh, y'all can check it out the inside just got done washing her today. Uh, she looks amazing. Um, let's see. Let's see if I can show you a little bit without, because I, I don't know how to put the camera. I'm a little retarded, but 
You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna go sit down and I'm gonna show you guys everything at the car. So first of all, you know, we got the big 392 right there on the side. Mm -mm. Then we got the 275 wheels and the Hellcat rims. Of course, we got the big six pistons right there. Amazing, right? Here we go. Then we got right here. Then right here, you know, <laughs> you know, we got the big sunroof right there. Yep. We got the Alcantara suede seats. Yo, these are what you got at your grandma's house. This is what you sit on the grandma's couch. You know, you get any of your friends, like you get a girl you like up in here. And like, oh my God, these are Alcantara seats. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know, th th that's what it does. That These are really what these cars do. Um, so, you know, we got the, <laughs> you got the Scat Pack logo right there. You know, you got everything you need inside here. Got the coins for the car wash. Um, clean leather dash. You know, I do got the sunroof. I do got the Hartman Carbon Audio Sound Group. Got the adaptive suspension. I'm recording on my phone. Fresh, fresh car. Can't open the door that much. But you know, we got the nice back seat right there. Super spacious, beautiful charger. My color is octane red. I didn't really like the color at first, to be honest with you guys, but it's really grown on me. Um, let's see if I can zoom out a little bit. But it's a super nice color, to be honest. You know, um, we got the little Scat Pack logo right there. Yep. Yep. This car is so nice, guys. I love this car so much. It's my baby right here. Look how shiny it is. Oh, it's like a mirror. Mm -hmm. That's pretty much it for the car, guys. Um, you know. If you want to see me drop a new video about the car, mods, you know, anything, uh, like and comment and subscribe down below and turn on that notification bell. Um, you know, help me out. Seriously, I'm trying to get to 1K subscribers. Then we'll really start rolling out these videos, y'all. I'm for real. You know, comment down below and like the video if y'all want me to do a, a five things I like about my scat pack and then five things I don't like, one of those type of videos or just any videos, guys. Uh, so, yeah, let me know. I'll be right with you guys on the next video. Peace.